Welcome back. The Occupy Wall Street protests here in New York are probably the last place you'd expect to see a member of the, quote, 1%, but that's exactly where the CEO of Euro Pacific Capital went. Okay, but, but how much do exactly. you think I should pay? What would be fair for me? I don't know what Just your guess. is. I can't tell you that. Well, what do you, I believe in a progressive How about the same as everybody else? What should I pay? Okay, well, the, Except, I'd love, like all right, like I'm paying 35%. All right, I, well, that would be a huge tax cut for me. I pay much more than 35% of my total what income in tax. Pay? What do you think? Uh, less than me, plan. and I employed her. I am giving the government half of what I earn. You think they should take more? I think we should get rid of the Bush tax cuts. But that means I would be paying more than half of what I earn. A very gutsy Peter Schiff joins us this morning. I love it. Uh, you went down there. Um, and what did you learn from these people? What was their biggest gripe against you, the 1%? Well, basically, I think they're under the, the impression that somehow the only reason the U.S. economy is in trouble is because wealthy people aren't paying enough taxes. And, of course, that's not the reason. I mean, one, one of the people in that crowd, if you heard him, he just said he thought I should pay the same taxes as him. I'm already paying a lot more taxes. Not only am I paying a higher rate, but in absolute terms, I'm paying a lot more in taxes. In fact, I'm paying more in taxes than all the people in that park combined. You know, the, the fact that they're going to say that the wealthy aren't paying their fair share, in fact, what the wealthy do that's more important than paying taxes is they create the products, they provide the services, they create the jobs. I was trying to point out to the people of that crowd, I'm creating a lot of jobs. The people around me weren't creating any. And that was one of the gripes you talked to a Occupy Wall Streeter about when you went down there. Here's another clip. I you think that socialism well, is wrong? It is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. First, Why? I employ I employ 150 people. Well, I employ 150 people, right? I've created those jobs. How many jobs did you create? How many people did you employ? How much money have I given you? But you haven't given me anything. But my point is, I've created 150 jobs. I'm 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 writing paychecks every given, week. I haven't given you anything. You, what what are you what are you? Everybody in this park has contributed to your fat ass no, bank account. Haven't. How do you figure? And one. Not sure that put the best face on the movement. Was there anything that you came away with in terms yeah. of, of a newfound respect? Did you understand any of the frustrations of that growing movement? Oh, I understand the frustration is completely justified. It says they should be frustrated with the government. That's what's wrecked the economy, not capitalism. I mean, this guy is a self-confessed socialist, and I think it's interesting. He thinks that he contributed to my success simply because he exists. I don't know how he figures that. I mean, maybe my clients can say they helped contribute to my success, but he ain't one of them. And, you know, and, and, and part of the thing is a lot of the people there were saying I have a duty and obligation to share my success with everybody else. And, of course, they have no right to claim a share of the profits of my company because they're rightly claiming uh, they're upset that they're having to share in the bailouts of Wall Street. Well, you can't be a hypocrite. You can't have it both ways. If you don't want to share in the losses, you can't share in the profits. But another right. point I tried to make to these people is under capitalism, everybody shares without the government. Take the example of Steve Jobs, who made billions for himself. But he shared that with the whole world. His customers benefited from the products. His employees benefited from high-paying jobs. Investors benefited mm -hmm. from, from owning Apple stock. Everybody shares under capitalism, but the government doesn't have to get involved. In fact, right. all the money that Steve Jobs probably paid in taxes, if he didn't pay all those taxes, he probably would have created more wealth and would have shared it with even more people. I agree. we got to leave it there, Peter. Uh, and you say that they should be protesting in Washington, D.C. I think a lot of people agree with you. And, folks, just so you don't think, Peter, Peter selectively cut up this video. Just visit YouTube, uh, enter Peter Schiff in there, and you'll find all these video, these interviews unedited. So we appreciate you being with us this morning. Peter Schiff, thanks a lot. Thank you.